Welcome back to Dancing with the Stars. Last week, this next woman impressed the judges with a Viennese waltz that Bruno said looked sassy and sexy. What will her jive look like? We're about to find out. It's rapper Lil' Kim and her partner, Derek Huff. Last week, Lil' Kim hit a high note in a Viennese waltz that struck a chord with the judges. You guys are perfectly matched. You finish each other's movements. You complement each other so beautifully. If you look at like your life and then you look at my life, you think, how would these people ever co yeah. coexist together? I could see why people would think that we would be total opposites, but once we got to know each other, the chemistry was so on point. I definitely think Derek and I make each other better. This week, we're doing the jive, which yeah. is an awesome dance, a lot of fun. Jill is doing a great job, but hopefully this week, Kim will have an edge, because we're adding a lot of flavor and a lot of character to our dance. Five, six, seven, eight. So make it big, make the arms big, big. I felt like it was enough arms, but you said bigger. The jive is definitely more challenging than I thought it would be. I struggle with the character of the dance because it's from an era that I'm not too familiar with. I don't know which character I should be from the 50s. I know Thelma and Louise. You know Thelma? <laughs> <laughs> I don't think that was 50s. You know, I have a place that will help you get into character. Nothing says 50s like a hopping burger joint and classic cars. This is a hot ride. That is a hot ride. That's hot. Yes. Some of the people were actually around during the 50s, and hearing what they had to say helped Kim to kind of get into the vibe of what the dance is about. Well, you look good, huh? Oh, I love this car. I'm on fire, just like the hood. <laughs> there we go. Me? Oh, that's nice. That was, that was the 50s. I stepped back in time to catch a glimpse of what the 50s were all about. And now I'm hoping to put that onto the dance floor tonight in the jive. Cheers, darling. Cheers, baby. Dancing the jive, Lil Kim and her partner, Derek Huff. you guys some oxygen. Wow. Good feel the people like it over there. <laughs> yeah. Audience loved it. A lot going on. Let's see what our judges have to say. Bruno, we'll start with you. Walden Kim, I am guilty. Arrest me. Arrest me. Take me. I am guilty of loving the first degree. <laughs> <laughs> you rocked! Thank you! It's fabulous! Gary Ann! Fantastic choreography. That was just mind blowing. Amazing. Good job. Okay. All right. Well, there you are. It, it was fun. It
it had energy. Derek, I think you got so carried away with the story of Jailhouse Rock that it lacked a lot of jive that I would like to see. What? Oh, man, Mama Martha's gonna take you away, watch it. It was a tad for me, it was a tad theatrical. What, what was on the label wasn't in the tin. It's a jive and it, what came out for me was a theatrical performance. As good as it was and I enjoyed it, I didn't consider it a ballroom jive, but great job on what you did. <laughs> oh, thank you. Oh, well, you hang here, guys. Lil Kim and Derek will get their scores and will examine Lens 10 after the break. And backstage, the remaining men are preparing to show you their routine. The country singer is back to Dancing with the Stars. <laughs> Before the break, Lil Kim and Derek's drive had Carrie Ann and Bruno jumping out of their seats, although Len was impressed. Let's get their scores. Ladies and gentlemen, the judges' scores. Carrie Ann in Arbor. Ten. Len Goodman. Eight. Bruno Tognoli. Ten. A 28. Congratulations. If it weren't for that poopy head Len giving you guys that amazing eight, which is still good, but you know. No, you know what, though? We actually said that. We said that we were taking a risk because, you know, we are going to make it kind of theatrical, and I knew that Len... Isn't a big fan of that, but we want to take the risk and put on a good show. Yeah, yeah. and I we're back here. Love the show that you put on. You know, Carrie Ann last week had also talked about what an amazing connection you guys have. What do you think makes your partnership so strong? Well, we're not just partners. We're also friends outside of this. We support each other. After the show is over, we're still going to be friends. And I dance, by the way, I danced the dance for my baby Regis tonight. He's oh. always supportive. And <laughs> thank you. To all the judges, carry on the love. All right, well, they love a good score from the judges indeed, but they do want your votes too, Tom.